Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows application how to add and bind the combo box in a data grid view control. And here we got the output. The combo box is added inside the data grid view control. See, the country names are added. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new Windows application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the Windows template, I am choosing Windows Forms application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is Data Grid View Combo Box. Click OK. And the project is successfully created. Let me expand this form one design page. Now in this form one design page, I'm adding a data grid view control open toolbox. I'm expanding the data folder, data grid view. And here we got the data grid view control. Now in this data grid view control, I'm adding a combo box control. Notice there is a small button on the top of the data grid view control, which is a data grid view task. Open that one, add column. The name I'm giving, the country name, C name. The type is, I'm selecting the combo box column, the header text, country name. Click add. And notice here we got the combo box control inside the data grid view control. Let's close this add column dialog box. Now let's bind the data from the SQL Server database into this combo box. Double click the form one design page. Now in this code behind, the first thing I'm adding the namespaces of SQL Server using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot configuration the namespace I have used configuration which means I'm storing my connection string in the app dot config file but in Windows application by default the system dot configuration namespace DLL library is not included in the project references folder. Notice there is no any system that configuration DLL library. Let's add the configuration library. Right click the references. Add reference. System configuration. Select the checkbox control. Click OK. And see here the system that configuration library is added into our project. Let's minimize this references folder. Now it's time to add the connection string in the app.config config file. To get the data source connection string, open server explorer, data connections, right click that one, add connection. I'm adding my SQL server name is after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name sample DB is my user database test connection is succeeded okay okay and notice under data connections we got the sample DB dot DB voice added I need the data source connection string property of this sample db right click the sample db dot dbo go to properties the third option connection string copy the whole part open solution explorer app dot config file open that one now inside the configuration i'm adding connection strings add 
name is equals to my connection my con connection string is equals to I'm adding the data source and the last property I'm adding the provider name which is system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the app.config file switch to the form one dot cs string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes between double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is my con I'm pasting here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding the object main con string SQL query is equals to before writing the select statement let's open my SQL server database we'll check the table the table I'm using country which contains two columns and three rows the C name is a country name India US and Australia I want to bind C name column into a combo box control let's write the select statement select column name is CI C name from the table name DBO dot country SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command now in this SQL command I'm adding the command text which is a SQL query comma the second one is a SQL connection object I'm adding SQL com SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL com data table DT is equals to new data table SDA dot fill method I'm filling the DT object data table object and now I'm binding this dot C name C name is my combo box name dot display member is equals to the display member is a column name C name this dot C name dot value member the value member is a CID Now last one I'm adding the data source property. This dot C name dot data source is equals to DT object data table object. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's check the results. Start. And here we got the output the combo box is added inside the data grid view control see the country names are added that's it